Hey guys, welcome back at the channel and guess what? I have an issue. And the issue is a hole in my shoe sole. That's super annoying. Now I can't wear these shoes when I'm on a hike with Sasha because my feet get wet and I have to waste them. But that's exactly what I don't want to, mainly because of two reasons. I did a bit of research and found out that the world's annual shoe production in 2022 when I bought these shoes were 23.9 billion pair of shoes. Imagine what a huge pile of waste that will be. And I don't want to add to the pile of waste yet. There's also another reason why I don't want to waste these shoes. They are made of real leather. The leather is in perfect condition. There's only a small hole in the rubber. Imagine animals had to die that I can wear these shoes. Just look in the eyes of these cows and tell me that I have to waste these shoes. I can't do that yet. Let's face it, we have to take the responsibilities for what we are doing. And my responsibility is to wear these shoes as long as possible. That's what I like to try. And I like to try to repair them here at the office with some high tech. I found the supporter for the video and the supporter is G-Tech. They sent me their latest tech filaments and there's also a TPU filament. TPU is a soft filament, mainly like rubber. So what I like to do is a 3D print of the sole, add it to my shoes and then wear them as long as possible. Check out their website. Thanks G-Tech for providing me the TPU and hopefully that can repair my shoes. So let's put it in the printer. The printer is set up, but currently there's nothing to print because I have no data. So what I have to do is I have to scan my shoes. And as you can see, only the rear section of the sole is worn out. So what I like to do is I like to scan a little part of the shoe. And to do that, I'm using the Creality Scan Otter. That's a cool scanner. It works with Creality Scan and also with Creality Print. So if you have a Creality Printer, that's a perfect addition. It's super easy to handle, but let me show you. So let's plug it into my PC with a USB or USB-C adapter. Super easy, just plug it in. And then I have to start Creality Scan. And all you have to do is scan the shoe. Now you can see that the scanner recognizes the shoe because it's on a white surface and the shoe itself is black. So you can see the shoe in green. And all we have to do is we have to click on Start. And the scan starts. All I have to do is scan the area I like to recreate. That takes maybe a minute. As you can see, scan is already done. So what I can do is stop the scan. And now I like to show you a very cool feature. Here you can find the lasso tool and that's super helpful. Just click on the lasso tool. And as you can see, I have some points I don't need because I need only the rear end of the shoe itself. So I can delete points I don't need. Just press shift and then use the lasso tool to mark all these points and delete them. And check this out. Three minutes later and I have a perfect copy of my shoe sole. And that's exactly what I need to create a patch I like to 3D print. Let me show you real quick what I did in Fusion 360 because that's a story on its own. I imported my shoe sole as a mesh and then I converted it into a body and that's what I have here. Here you can see the shoe sole and now I have to create the patch exactly here. So what I did is I did a sketch in Fusion 360 that's this button and here you can see my sketch. That's the patch I like to create and yeah let's do it again so you can understand what I did. I extruded it 12 millimeter like so. And that creates another body. And then I divided this body from the shoe sole itself. And what I get is a merge body. You can see it here. And that's exactly my patch. So let's remove the shoe sole so you can see what I created. Here it is. What's left is the patch itself. Exactly one hour later and here they are, the 3D printed patches for the shoe soles. What's left to do is to stick them on the shoes. 
And the cool thing about these patches is that they fit like a glove into the grooves of the original sole. Check this out. Last thing to do is to add some contact cement to the patches and the sole and to glue them on the shoe. And I will mark the area on the sole where to add the contact cement with a chalk marker. That's super easy and you know exactly where to add the contact cement and where not. And the last thing to do is a little bit of touch up. I like to hide the glue lines with a marker. And can I save the world doing that? Maybe not. But what I can do is avoid waste, maybe a little bit longer, and that is what counts. And if you have made it till the end, thanks for your time. I absolutely understand that it's not worth to buy a 3D printer and a super expensive scanner to do only shoes. But imagine what you can do with 3D printing and 3D scanning. For me, it's the world. And thanks GTESH for supporting me with the filament. Thank you for watching. I hope you found some inspiration. See you in the next one. Goodbye.